Now, going forward, viewers, Iraq has suspended all flight operations across all the airports until further notice. Amid the regional tensions now escalating in the Middle East, as per the foreign media, this development comes hours after the Israel during the wee hours launched precise strikes on Iran's military bases, prompting Tehran to close its airspace. All right. Foreign Affairs expert Sanjeev Srivastav joins me this morning. Sir, very good morning to you and thank you for speaking to NewsX. At this point, you know, it remains to be the bigger question that after October 1st, the uh, fresh precise strikes are now being rained upon Tehran and it's different parts where the airspace has also been shut. There are the defense bases which have been particularly targeted and the Iranian state media also is confirming that their defense bases are, have, uh, are in fact in danger and they have been targeted. What is, in your opinion now, the possible worst case scenario that we can understand from this entire escalation now getting into a new breakthrough and uh, breaking out uh, for the worst, I believe? Well, uh, first of all, a very good morning to you. Good morning to all the viewers. Uh, yes, uh, Israel's uh, <clears throat> strike has come, which was uh, imminent uh, at uh, any point of time. Uh, but uh, 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 Israel is known for its uh, uh, surprises. And uh, 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 some of uh, the speculations were being made that uh, this kind of a strike, uh, uh, which is imminent, could come after number five. But uh, Israel has... Uh, uh, chosen to do it uh, even before U.S. elections, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, this Israel has uh, gone ahead uh, with this uh, uh, strike against uh, uh, Iran, which is uh, a retaliation of the October uh, one, uh, a large-scale ballistic missile attack, uh, which was carried out by Iran against Israel. So this uh, this Israel uh, strike was imminent; it uh, it had to come at any point of time, but it came. Uh, even before U.S. election, uh, that is uh, uh, that is what Israel is known for. Uh, this kind of uh, surprises. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, uh, but in my assessment, uh, this uh, Israeli strike uh, is a proportionate one, uh, and uh, uh, it appears that uh, they have not chosen uh, any uh, nuclear or uh, oil uh, facilities uh, of Iran uh, uh, because, uh, as you asked about the worst case scenario, if that happens. Uh, if we, uh, Israel uh, attacks on the nuclear installations or the uh, critical and key oil facilities of Iran, then that will uh, lead to and uh, that will uh, uh, plunge into the entire region into a, a full, you know, regional war and uh, a kind of a state-to-state -state war will emerge, uh, and uh, that will uh, not be uh, good for uh, both of these these two nations and not good for the whole world. So I think Israel uh, strike uh, is. Uh, uh, directed against uh, several military targets, and this is trial, uh, strikes is ongoing. This is an ongoing situation. So we will have to see, uh, wait and see uh, for a few more hours that uh, what kind of uh, uh, targets they have chosen. But the report, uh, reports thus far, which are emerging out there, uh, 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 suggest that uh, they have chosen only uh, military uh, targets, and it's uh, these are uh, very precise strikes uh, which Israel air forces are conducting. And uh, and uh, uh, though mm -hmm. thus far, uh, 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 it appears that uh, they have limited themselves uh, to only to uh, to the military targets. Uh, what Iran did also, if you look at the Iranian strike uh, on October one, they had chosen only military uh, targets of Israel. They had not chosen any civilian areas or any other uh, critical areas of uh, 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 critical infrastructure of uh, you know uh, uh, Israel. So I think this uh, strike is, uh, 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 it appears thus far that it is a proportionate response. What Israel uh, was uh, uh, saying that uh, they will uh, st uh, strike back uh, in, a, in a manner, uh, in a kind, in the kind of uh, uh, behavior uh, Iran sought to them on October 1 and even before that in April. So I think uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, strike was uh, imminent and, uh, but uh, as I said, this is ongoing situation and we'll have to wait and see uh, what kind of uh, reports come out after these uh, Israeli operations are over. Hmm. All right, Mr. Sanjeev Shrivastav, thank you for sharing these details. In fact, uh, what we need to understand at this point of time is the next possible response that could be coming out from Iran. And to get more details on the same is my colleague Ajay Jandial. Ajay, uh, now increased intensity of uh, these Iranian air defense systems in fact hint 
and suggests that Israel may be moving to the higher value targets across Tehran and the airspace in fact has been shut at this point what is in fact uh, now the scale where the destruction is expected and the latest that we're tracking from the IDF uh, that could be put in perspective to understand in the coming hours what can we expect more uh, see you know uh, it was already as I told you that it was expected that Israel will uh, launch an attack but uh, the timing was uh, you know uh, was not expected that day before uh, US election it will uh, take place but uh, when it uh, has started so Definitely, uh, you know, more uh, and more attacks will take place. And uh, Israel, uh, you know, defense forces have uh, shared this information. They have, they have targeted multiple locations, only the defense areas of uh, Iran, because they say that uh, the way they have uh, carried out ballistic missile attack on uh, October 1, uh, that, was, uh, that is a retaliation of that attack. And that's why they have chosen the defense uh, installation in a different different, uh, uh, different a defense installation. No doubt that Israel anti, uh, you know, uh, anti drone system there that was activated to uh, face the uh, situation. But how much destruction it uh, Iran has faced that has to be seen because uh, continuously, uh, you know, attack is taking place. So right now they are just uh, uh, sitting and watching that uh, uh, how the situation is volatile, how it is going to move. That has to be seen. So uh, it is expected that uh, the destruction will take place. There will be damage. There will be casualties as well. But how many casualties and how many uh, how much destruction will take place that has to be seen and uh, um, whether this attack is over or Israel has to launch more attack that has to be seen uh, as they have uh, clarified that they haven't targeted any oil uh, you know uh, uh, any uh, uh, any uh, place where the, the, their their uh, is, uh, is uh, there and uh, uh, what we can say that uh, uh, any uh, infrastructure where uh, there is a uh, possibility that could uh, affect the world, um, you know, uh, uh, economy or any anything, uh, anything which lead to the more uh, conflict between the neighboring country. That's uh, they haven't done, but they haven't. They have. They are targeting the defense installations only. So that has to be seen. That is, is it over or what will happen in the next few hours? Because Iran will also um, once again try to target the Israel as well because they are not going to. Uh, sit quietly and uh, it is expected that it will that will continue for some more days in uh, in the coming time for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon